Look who's coming. It's Spocky again. He is still hanging around the spillway. He's only less than 100 yards from the turnoff into Golden Hill Road. Not good. He has very little experience with the traffic on a busy highway. Seeing him here on his own again, I have a bad feeling that he has fallen out with Nulla Troop. Sugar! Poor Spocky. After four years, he is still getting nowhere finding a troop that will accept him. Poor son of Grandee. I think he's lost. He was ousted too early, at two and a half only. He has never quite got over the shock. And to make it even worse for him, he lost his big brother, Batty, somehow along the way. He was on his own to fend for himself all these years. <laughs> What should I do? His best chance is now with car park troop. The picnic area behind the dam recorder house is where he will get some goodies. But really there is no stopping of him from venturing beyond the turnoff in the long run. All the best, Spocky. It seems Nulla Troop is very picky. Stumpy had failed, as had Charlie and probably many others too. In another week or two, the mating season of 2024 will officially end. Those who haven't scored so far will have to give it the best.
Hold on, I think I know him. Yes, that's Morgan from Skullhead Troop. Remember him? He was that curious young thing who came to groom my legs. That day I was just filming the playful antics of some babies, when I suddenly noticed someone tickling my legs, and it was him. So where's everyone? Morgan. So there are some of his friends. And there are the others. A very small turnout for Skullhead so far. Aurora, I know you were born late, but it's the month of the year that counts. If everyone is nearly weaned by now, so should you too. So more of Skullhead just a stone's throw away. And finally our gang, just round the corner. All the girls we know in Gypsy's family. It's nice that our gang can have their long lost home turf back. At least for now while Jubilee Troop is taking a break.
I can see Dolly and Desiree in the distance too. Desiree doesn't look too cheerful, does she? Well, I am not surprised, as most of them see Mum get serious about weaning them now. Snuggle down however close you are, it just won't happen I am afraid. I think Lil Desiree is busy pretending to be foraging. But Dolly is a seasoned mum, she knows all their tactics. And here comes Reddy and Dewey too. Dewey isn't a happy trooper either. But unlike Desiree, it is not just mum he is contending. There is that guy he is contending too. Here come his siblings. Yes, his mum is courting. So Desiree, count yourself lucky. Dewey is in a worse position than you. But fortunately, he has more siblings to keep him occupied. So let's check out who that bloke is, courting ready. He kind of looks familiar.
Sorry, Dewey. It looks like your mum is in a long haul for some lascivious business today. <laughs> Holy smoke! That her business partner is no one other than Bucky. <laughs> Bucky really has a thing for much older girls, hasn't he? And here comes Lowry. Who is he trying to appease to? It can't be Gypsy, right? It's Bolly he is trying to. Ignored, he must have been peaked. And this tells you that Lowry's authority isn't won by himself. He really is just an interim figurehead. Last time Bucky was courting Gypsy, and this time ready. What has come to Bucky's mind? Regardless, Dewey is in for a long haul. And there's Ray. Dimpy can't be far away. It seems all in Reddy's family is here to watch an adult show. Hey, shouldn't you two be looking after Dewey? See where he has gone. Oops, he's going to bother mum. Desiree is in a better position than Dewey today. She still has her mum's sole attention. Come on, ready, let's get it over and done with. Nope, Dewey, it's no use.
told you so, didn't I? Action! Is it over with now? Looks like it. If not, the prospect of goodies should quench any desire for it. Dewey, it's over now, come out. Did you not see? Mum is all yours now. Oops, perhaps not. So I gather there aren't any goodies. And worse for Dewey, he isn't getting his mum back. Lowry's back. But Bolly just can't be bothered anymore. I suppose his patience has finally paid off. So the ball is back to Reddy's older kids now. They have to comfort their little baby brother Dewey again. Wow, there must be some kind of chemistry between Reddy and Bucky. Sorry, Dewey. You aren't getting your mum back any sooner by the look of it. The other three older kids of hers are watching from above.
I think they are both enjoying it. I see. It's Dewey there. It seems Reddy doesn't want to be disturbed at all. Is Bucky really that good a lover? If not, at least his stamina must make everything worthwhile for Reddy. Poor Dewey. He is not going to get his tea on time, however insubstantial that is to him nowadays. It's the attention that counts. And now, he is only second to a much bigger guy, Bucky. Let's leave the two lovers alone for the moment. Doesn't Grady look well? My fear is that Grady could be ousted early.
What's left of Ridgie's family has no say at all now in our gang. Grady may get ousted even earlier than Spocky. Hold on. That's not our gang there. Sugar, it's Jubilee. They are back in force, starting today. Desiree, you'd better behave, because it's a matter of time before Jubilee Troop will evict both you and your mum, as well as the entire troop now any minute. So I can see that the royal family has now assembled. The decree for a retreat will be issued soon. And sooner than I had expected, in fact. There's Ray. Where is your grandmum? Ready. There she is. And just unbelievable. Bucky is still hanging around her. Where is Dewey? Oh, there he is. Sorry, it doesn't look like your mum is finished with Bucky yet. They are at it again over there. Poor Dewey, who's going to take pity on him?
Dewey, I think your mum's marathon session with Bucky should be over soon. If not, Aunt Hattie can give you some love and cuddles. Good grief. The two are at it again. Dewey, you could use more cuddles and grooms from Hattie for now. You have every right to think your mum is weird today. Thank God, there is no lack of loving aunts around for Dewey. But someone's gain is another's loss. How about Huey? Huey isn't going to be happy. He surely is bothered. Poor Huey just isn't cute enough now that he's nearly two years old. If it's there, it's just too difficult to resist. And if Gary has had enough, why not? But Gilly has more self-control than we think. She has decided to call it quits. Reddy and Bucky are now over there.
And Fifi has come out now. And there is Sparky too. And there, Dewey is back on ground level. Not sure why Sparky has suddenly fallen out with Fifi. But there is no question that Fifi really is one of the lowest ranking females in our gang. If not the lowest. For now, Graffy's peers will still see him as equal, but it will change as they grow older. Goodness me, Bucky and Reddy are at it again. These two are the record holders for making it out. For Dewey, at least he's getting some attention from Mum. At long last. Finally, Bucky is alone. Dewey can have his mum back.
What the f Have you not had enough yet? Ready. Look, I think Bucky has run out of steam now. I think it's truly over now. A marathon of nearly an hour and a half since I first bumped into them. The nightmare is over for Dewey. Mum isn't so weird anymore. It's not over yet for these two passionate lovers. It's getting late and I have had enough. Just like Captain America, Bucky can do it all day.